hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create a character field and uh, what is the purpose of the character field and in case you missed previous discussion about the overview of the fields how many types of fields supported in odoo please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo please visit the weblens channel under the home screen you can see odoo 17 development tutorial is here and this is the main playlist of the Odoo 17 development. And in case you want to learn more about Odoo with the different topics, you can see here Odoo development. And once you click here to view all, you can see here different apps of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. And in case you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. So let's back to our main topic, like how to create a character fit. So first thing is, what is character field so let's say you want to add some inputs from the user as an alphanumeric in this case you can create a character field so for that let's say we already created here write the name and name one but we didn't discuss more about this field so let's try to create one more field and uh, let's see like what is the benefit of the character field right so here i'm trying to create a new field which is student underscore name right after that equal to and before this one let's say once you you are trying to create any kind of fields right so first thing is you have to import odoo right import the fields so this is the fields package you can create different types of fields so here like we have to use fields and the care is the capital the c we don't need to use type here everything the full name character like this one okay we have to just use as a care and after that either you can provide here any string so in case if you didn't provide any string so it will tag by default this name so like this name student underscore name in as a label all right so first thing is i'm trying to restart the service in the view part right here I'm also trying to add student underscore name and I'm trying to upgrade this module from the terminal minus u and student and if you don't know guys how to configure Odoo in PyCharm please check editor level playlist I already explained and once I will upgrade the module right once I will refresh the screen you can say student name is visible here right and here the surprisingly you can see here student and the name field is different and having a space why because here we used underscore right now let's talk about the supported attributes so this is the way you can create a character field now you understood right let's say there are many attributes are there we have to use so by i'm showing you here useful and common attributes for the advanced attributes i will cover in once that specific topic will come i will let you know okay this is the attribute we have to also use but here don't worry i will explain the common one so first thing in is string string is the attribute here you can add the label name so let's say student right and if you remember here you can see the student name is like this one right the label name so here i'm just adding student right once i will upgrade the module once i will refresh the screen you can see the label is changes student right if you want to add any specific label which you don't want to use this label name then they, you can just override using the string another thing is the required required equal to true by default it's a false right it supports a boolean type true and false so required means once i will save this record right automatically i can save the record without filling any information on these fields so let's say you want to also require some fields before you're trying to create or update the record right so simple you can just use here required equal to true after that you have to just restart the service refresh the screen right and let's say if i will change here the name 
and once I click here to save you can see the symbol plus the message is also displayed and here you can see in, invalid fields and whatsoever required field is there which is blank you can see here the list of the field name so in this case you can see the student and the color is also changed from black to the red color let's say I'm trying to use here the web lens. and once I save you can see I'm able to save this record in case let's say I'm trying to save one more time you can see here it's required field so there is a one more case write the read only and it also supports the true and false boolean data type by default it's a false and let's say if you use this one the read only equal to true that means here you cannot edit this record so let's say at the moment before i rest, refresh the screen right i'm trying to add something like this web learn right and so once i will refresh the screen now you can see this field is read only and you can just mark the name for is the label is also changed the color right instead of the black you can see here it's changed also the color and user cannot edit anyhow this field so this is the purpose of the read only let's say there is a one more case while create a new record you want to also set the default value right so you can just use here the default equal to and let's say the web lens you have to again restart the service right refresh the screen please guys remember this default keyword only works while you create a new record not in the existing record right you can see here this is the existing record and due to that you cannot see here the web lens once i click to new you can see it's automatically updated here name three web lens right so this is the purpose of the default another thing is the index right so once you use the index index is totally depends on the postgres site so let's say if you know already about the indexing in the specific colon wise right it will search fast while you use the indexing so by default it's using the b3 index once i will upgrade the module it will automatically create a one index for you in the backend side in the odoo's this wb dot student model so here in the front end side you don't want to worry about because it's not a functional part but this is basically a technical part in which is available in the postgres level only so this is the index right by default it's a false and please don't use each field as an index equal to true because for more information about how to use the index on which field please check the postgres official documentation another thing is the copy copy is very interesting topic by default it's a true right and let's say if you use here copy equal to false right and you just restart the service let's say i'm using i'm adding here hello one hello right like this so once i will duplicate this order you can see it will automatically add web lens and kkk like this right but not the hello is automatically disappear while create a new record right so if you don't want to use the existing whatsoever content here and once the user click to this duplicate so user want to add compulsory and new content here so in this case you can just use the copy equal to false let's say if i will use as a true by default this is a true okay and once i will refresh the screen let's say i will use here you 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 like this and once i will duplicate you can see it's available right you can see you 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 but if i will use here the false restart the service and once i will duplicate you can see that value gone for the new new record right so this is the main purpose of the copy equal to false
now another one is the translate by default it's a false so once you have a multi languages option enable right like english dutch french hindi right different languages arabic language in this case odoo also allow here to update multiple languages content here let's say in english i'm using web lenses like this one but in arabic or in the french might be the the content the string actually is different right so same like here also provide here the different uh, here it's also provide the symbol to add it in a different languages but this part i will not cover in this discussion because this is specially for the translation related topic so you can just keep in your mind like there is a one more attribute is there translate equal to true all right in the field level another thing is a tracking tracking equal to true so once uh, here i'm showing you here in the invoicing let's say if you change this payment reference something like 2 3 to 2 right and once you save so this log right what was the previous one and what is the new value we added right including the timestamp and with the specific user you can also see here in this in the chatter screen so let's say reset to draft right if i will change to like this you can see here now this date to this dates automatically changed by this user so this like let's say such functionality you want to use you can just use tracking equal to true but make sure you have to also include here inherit the subclass right the mail thread class this one is i will not show you at the moment if you try to directly use this one it will give you the error message and there is a one useful attribute which is unassigned equal to true or the false if you are working with the multiple languages right as i said earlier like uh, there is uh, some specific keywords you want to extract so in the postgres side it will also search like that way but this topic i will cover in our upcoming session don't worry because this is very important topic in the odoo okay so yeah so this is related the python end but let's say you can also use some of the attributes in the xml side also here so now you can see uh let me remove everything let's say we didn't do anything in the python side now let's say i want to change something some new label name for the student right std and m so like this way you can use the string as the same variable in the xml side you must have to upgrade the module because you change in the xml side so again i'm going to in the student profile you can see here it's student right once i will refresh the screen you can see std and m another thing is let's say once i save you can see the required field is also removed the required functionality but let's say you want to add that same functionality in xml side you can just use required equal to 1 again you have to upgrade the module refresh the screen right and you can see here student name is required like this way you can also use read only and here you have to just pass the one as a required okay and now you can see the name for is still editable right like this way but once i will refresh the screen you can see this name for is not editable anymore now another thing is let's say you want to hide this name too right so here you can just use invisible equal to 1 you have to restart the service upgrade the module and now you can see 1 2 is hidden 3 4 and this is the student name right 
you can see here using the invisible you can hide that specific field so like this way you can use such attribute in the python side as well as in the xml side one more thing is you have to keep in your mind if i will use here std here without providing any extra attributes right like this so by default if you add anything like this in a string by default or do treat as a label name all right so let me remove this one and upgrade the module you can see here stdnm and you can see std right and let's say you added here the string as a std right and some like you again use here one more string with the different label name the first priority is in the xml side so once i will upgrade this module refresh the screen you can see std and m is available so in this case whatsoever attribute you are using here and this is that attributes override here that means this is the first priority all right and here let's say that priority uh, that attributes is missing here you didn't mention in case you mention here in the python side so this python attribute automatically field level attributes automatically work in the front end side and another thing is and which is very important and i really forgot the size right so let's say how many characters you want to store so size equal to 5 only 5 characters you want to store so you can just use size equal to 5 and once you upgrade the module refresh the screen you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 I'm, I'm trying to press here but I'm not able to edit any more characters in the front end side so this is the size attribute by default this is the where care field in the database side right so it will automatically set as a five character let me show you here you can see the character where character field right plus you can see we used here the index also right we used but right now we deleted so in the database side you can also see that same index the b3 index also created this is the by default b3 id right would automatically create this one the index plus the constraint and you can see here in the database side it will store with the wb underscore instead of the dot and the student you can see here the if you asking me about the odoo's model name then i will use to say wb dot student but let's say in the postgres side it, it would be different it's a wb underscore student not the wb dot student all right so this is the main difference here in the odoo model why is the postgres table so i hope you understood about how to create a character field what is the different types of attributes available in python side as well as in the xml side if you have any doubt related to this topic, please comment below and see you in our next session. And our next session would be how to create a big character field, I mean the text field in the Odoo. So, see you there.